Hi, welcome back. Um, one of my subscribers um, has asked me to make a quick video on the differences between touch DRO and a sort of standard DRO, I suppose. Now, from what I can see, the key difference uh, is that you've got on the touch DRO, you've got a, a workspace which you can basically assemble any number of points. Um, I've put in a couple of points there and some circles and a line, and you can then is a visualization of it. So you can see all the points and you can visually, let's move that in a bit closer, visually drive the um, mill around to those points on the screen. So as you move around the big big yellow cross stays in the center and then you can move around to the various points. Uh, you still got the readout in the top right there. Um, so that is a very nice feature. Um, the other thing that I've noticed um, that I don't have on this DRO, but I'm sure is on other ones, is that there's no tool library, which there is on the Touch DRO, um, where you can basically add a tool. Um, obviously, you set the diameter um, and Z offsets you can do as well. Um, and then you can tell it where it is in relation to your workpiece. So it will automatically offset the tool radius and give you the correct offset. Um, on this one, you've got to kind of do that manually, um, but whether whether that's a big deal or not, I don't know. Um, I, I can see the attraction, um, but you still have to, as far as I can tell, you still have to go in and manually tell it whether you're at the back or the front or the left or the right. Um, so let's say you're going around a, a square piece of material you're going to have to constantly be going into your tool offset to tell it that you've got to the next edge of the workpiece to get the correct offset. Other than that, um, they've both got the same standard sort of stuff. You've obviously got three readouts. Um, you've got absolute incremental um, switch. Uh, the This DRO has a subdatum mode where you can set uh, up to, I don't know, like 100 or possibly more subdatums, which are effectively like extra incremental um, modes um, for your offsets, um, if you've got lots of uh, features to machine. Um, so that's kind of handy, which I, I can't really see a way of doing that on, on the touch DRO, but with the workspace, it kind of approaches the problem in a different way. And then uh, you, you've got basic features like the, the whole circle, holes in a an angled line, um, which uh, both of those do in subtly different ways. This one's got a couple of features. You can tell it to, uh, you want to machine a radius and it'll, you can sort of give it a number of steps and it'll give you a bunch of points to machine or a, or a slope, whereas you don't, can't see a way of doing that in touch DRO. Um, I think that's about it really. Um, that's mill mode anyway. Um, I've not tried touch DRO in lathe mode. My plan is to try and fit my touch zero setup to the lathe, um, and then perhaps I'll give a another overview of um, how the lathe mode works when I do that. But that's not high on the priority list at the moment. But anyway, that's that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching.